Welcome, combatants, to another day in the arena. It's your boy James, aka NeuralNet Games. Today I am bringing you my Loom Sacrifice deck. Why did I make this deck? Because I wanted to use Bio Loom Egg. I feel like with the kind of like the blood money package, this is actually a very good value card. I mean, it's super narrow, but in this deck, I think it works really well. Also, I really like how the serpent looks. It looks cool. Before we get into how the deck works, let me just whine for one second. Just bear with me. Today, I had the worst distribution, and it was very hard for me to test decks because of this distribution. What do I mean by distribution? I mean, I would get all meat hook massacres, or I would get, you know, like none of my early sacrifice stuff. There was just, there's a ton of things just didn't line up today. I mulliganed over 50% of my games today. Like it was just crazy. I was trying out this insane humans deck where it essentially consisted of, of all the creatures where when another creature enters the battlefield, you gain one life. I combined that with cleric class. And then I also combined it with four semesters end. James, flash a picture of that up here right now. I'm reminding myself when I edit. And I could gain like 70, 80 life sometimes in one turn, <laughs> but it was just too inconsistent. And because of this crazy distribution, I just couldn't get it to line up today. So I had to scrap that. Like I fought so hard to get this deck out today. This, I bet you yeah, I modified this deck six or seven times to get to this list that really started rolling. Anyway, so what are we trying to do? Well, we have a ton of value out of one of our new cards, which is Clone Crafter. In this deck, this card's actually really good. You're going to see it help me win games. Like it helps me win games. It's very good value to play one card that's a creature and then get another creature when all you want to do is kind of sacrifice your own creatures, right? Such good value out of this card. And then Bio Loom Egg is also really good value too, right? It's a defender at 0-4, so it helps you against aggro. You get to scry two, so it makes your turn four and five, you know, usually more effective. And then... You get to sack it when somebody wipes the board and you get the Bioloom Serpent at the end, the beginning of the next end step. So it doesn't, you know, you can like resist board wipes if you sacrifice it. And then you get a 4-4, right? You get to, with a deadly dispute, you get to scry two, draw two cards, create a treasure and have a 4-4 on board. I think it's a pretty good value package. And then basically the rest of the deck is just us sacrificing stuff and having Sanguine Brush Stroke out with a Blood Artist. We don't really care about the actual blood tokens. They're sort of helpful. I actually win a game with, with one today, so I guess it's not nothing, but mainly we're here for the Blood Artists. And what we want to do is we've got, you know, ways to get a lot of little critters out and kill those little critters to draw cards. And then we wipe the board, do a bunch of damage, and we're in really good shape to come back. And then our final win con is kind of lol. Loth, good old Loth, comes in and just gums up everything and slows the game down to a brutal crawl. And then you draw cards and gain life. Very good little deck. Uh, four Blood Chief's Thirst. Uh, there is that other card that can also kill enchantments and is uh, also uh, can kill creatures. It's two mana and it you can do either, but then you take damage equal to their mana cost or whatever. That maybe just as good in here i'm thinking about changing that out and we got four curse bound witches four village rights um seagate storm caller is really good for us because once it gets onto the battlefield we don't care so it's a great sacrifice target and we get to double village rights double deadly dispute i'm telling you right now if you play this on turn four into a deadly dispute and you draw four cards and make two treasures you're gonna have a good game you are going to have a good game pretty much 95% of the time. A couple Agadim's Awakening just to go and grab everything back when it goes, you know, when it dies, stuff like that. Go back and get our Blood Artist. And then we got 24 total lands. We got two Port of Carfell as well so that we can sacrifice it, mill four cards, then return a creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield tapped. Doesn't show up much today, but I still think it's a pretty good addition to the deck and a couple of man lands just because we wipe the board a lot and very often we'll be deep into the game and we can just finish our opponent off with a man land. Again, I am foreshadowing. <laughs> anyways i think it's a super fun deck it was a rough day today though man i may be a little salty in the videos because people were also roping me like crazy today 
roping me like crazy all over the place. One person, they literally took like 10 or 15 seconds every game. I had to scrap the game earlier. Anyways, I'm done whining. It's super late here. I'm still recording and it's like getting closer to dinner time already. So I hope you enjoy the video. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, turn on the bell notifications, all that stuff. I don't want to ask that anymore. I just want to get this over with. <laughs> nah, I love my job. I do. I love doing this for a living. Just some days, some days things don't line up that well for you, but you push through and you get it done. You get it done. Let's get to it. Okay, we're on the plate. Fantastic hand. I have not said that often today. <laughs> Man, it's been one of those days. Um, I tried a bunch of other versions of this deck. I tried one with like a Cherix of the Isles. It's a 017 legendary creature. And then a uh, cannon fodder zombie where you sacrifice a creature to do 17 damage. Uh, when it worked, it was awesome, but it was just too inconsistent. So I have been at the drawing board a lot today. <laughs> this version is awesome though. This version is so good. Um, I think I'm just going to village rights this and go for, uh, yeah, I'm just going to wait. Actually, I won't be able to play. I won't be able to play my clone crafter anyways. Let's see what they do first. Blue and white Azorius. Okay. They don't even foretell, eh? Uh, we'll go for the land here. Make sure we get to our lull. Okay, so we can go Witch's Cottage. They revitalize. Okay, good for you. <laughs> well, that's a little bit more land than I actually needed. <laughs> we get a Hullbreaker. <laughs> well, I guess we know their win con. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. I'm flashing our own Hullbreaker. I'm already uh, only one land away from it. <laughs> Meat Hook we're going to put out next turn for zero. Or we're just going to do it for two, I guess. <laughs> Bye, Jacob. Put over to Sanguine, get a Lolf going here. See what they do. They choose to untap, they play a key to the archive. Okay. Getting pretty close to a Hullbreaker, but they've got to protect it too, and they're going to be careful with it. Let's go a Lolf here. Makes the most sense first, I think. I may play another Lolth next turn. I may draw a card and play another Lolth. We'll see. They search for a Demonic Tutor. Okay. They get a Geist Channeler. Okay. Um, I can Blood Chief's Thirst that, or I can save the Blood Chief's Thirst, right? I could put seven on them. That's a three-turn clock, but I don't think that's what makes the most sense. We want to play this out right here first, in case they decide to kill something. They divide it. Okay. Okay. Okay, let's draw a card. My words the Curse Bound Witch. I'm not too worried about them. Yeah, 
If they spend a card to get rid of the spider, well, we got a backup lull here. We can cast our own Hullbreaker Horror here, too. <laughs> They're at seven mana. They want their Hullbreaker. It's going to be real close. A teleportation circle? <laughs> I guess you can do that. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. They have eight mana. If I play my own Hullbreaker next turn. Okay, what's the best play here? Do I want my own Hullbreaker? Do I want my own Hullbreaker right now? Then they play theirs and they have at best one or two things they can do. If they shove it back into my hand. Hmm, very tempting right now. Okay, let's draw a card first. <laughs> Meat hook, okay. Um... Okay. The demonic tutor. Yes. Six. Six mana. Can we pull this off? The divine purge. Um, okay. I think I want to... Do I want to village raids here? If I do, I can't Hullbreaker. Okay. Oh, they have a fateful absence. That's okay, though. Subservience will be rewarded. They have to keep discarding cards to do this, though. I still think Hallbreaker there is just fine. Because then if I get to untap with it, I get to stop their Hallbreaker. Whereas now it's going to be a lot tougher, right? I need to get to eight mana to at least train double Blood Chief's Thirst each turn to run them out of cards. Um, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to play a Cursebound Witch. I'm going to Deadly Dispute here. Because, yeah, I need to get to a bunch of mana. I can Sanguine Brush Stroke. One, two, three, four mana, right? And play a Curse Bound Witch. Yep. Or I can save my village rates. Okay. We get another deadly dispute. My will cannot be denied. Ooh, there's a good card for the, against them. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's play a curse bound witch here, too. We're doing a lot of stuff. 
We're going to have a lot of mana to try and blood chief's thirst. Because they've just been, you know, they haven't actually had much to do. They're going to regret that. Now I don't think they can stop me. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Um, they only have one mana, right? It's dead. We'll just double blood chiefs here. Okay. Um... What's next? One, two, three, four, five mana. Let's put a Torment of Scarabs on them, I guess. I can also play a Blood Artist. I could have played that to get one extra life, I guess. Let's draw a card here. We're just going to outvalue them hard. Um, one, two, three, four. Yeah, I think it's Torment first. Although if I Deadly Dispute... If I Deadly Dispute, it costs me two and I get back to four and I can Torment as well. Do what I demand. Yeah, that's what we want. Okay, let's play a Torment of Scarabs on them. That'll put a good clock on them here. They're in big trouble. This deck is just going off right now. They get it to fairy. Okay, whatever. <laughs> They're going to get a lot of mana, but they don't have any cards to protect a Hullbreaker Horror if they actually get to it. That's what they're missing in this deck. Okay. Sure, and then they get to draw some cards, so I have to put damage on them pretty quick or kill it. Okay. They're going for another approach of the second sun. If they get it, they can beat me. I guess I guess that's their win con. Maybe I don't me I guess Hallbreaker's a backup plan. Okay, so I've gotta go fast, right? Okay, starting with this. My power is for annihilation. I want to make them discard that card too. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten mana. It's gonna be close. But if they do have approach there. I will. Um, I know it. How long it takes them? Right? Yeah. We will slay our enemies. Okay. Then I have a blood chief's thirst. But I don't have enough to cast it right now. Um, okay. Looks like we're done. We got a clock on us here. Okay, so 
They get a faith-bound judge, doesn't help them. They get a Geist Channeler, does help them somewhat. Are they six cards in? Are they one card away from winning here? <laughs> okay. Okay, we have 11 mana. So, how do I do 17 damage to them? If I Blood Chief's Thirst, they have no blockers. I get 8 and 11. If I play a Blood Artist, right? Let's draw a card first and see if we can get something else. Good Not what we need. And deadly. So if I attack... Okay, so I Blood Chief's a Thirst. I Blood Chief's Thirst here. And I attack and I get 8 and 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, right? And one for the Blood Chief's Thirst. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 left. I don't think I can get there. Yeah. Okay, here's what we do. We Blood Chief's Thirst. Okay, they take one damage there. We have one, two, three, four. Four, we don't have quite enough to attack and get it done. Let's go like this. We're gonna get there, right? Yeah, we are. One, two, three, four, five, yeah, okay. Meat hook for one, two, three, four. Boom. Yes. <laughs> that was sick. Wow, that is beautiful. Two swamps, all blue creatures. Okay, that's fine. Gotta go there. And got stuff. Um, lost the last game against an Omnath Storm the Festival deck. Uh, blood curdling screams from downstairs. Uh, my daughters got into a hair pulling fight, and so they can see. <laughs> I was probably gonna lose anyways. I was gonna. I was dead to me drawing a meat hook. Um, yeah, let's go here. So yeah, decks one and one. <laughs> oh. A Shatter Scald Charger. What? I guess it's Sanguine here. I could Shatter Skull them right back, but I don't know if that's really the right thing to do. Although technically I do have a lead, but I don't think that's really where I get to here. I'm mean, just going to wait to annoy them because they said your go like two seconds after. Okay. I'm not going to block, right? Nope. 
I'm feeling petty today. Okay. Cursebound Witch. And let's Deadly Dispute. We can't stop us from gaining life here. Okay. We gotta draw a bunch more stuff. Um, let's Village Rights the Clone Crafter here. Um, I could draw. Yeah, I think I'm good there. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Double check the land and turn. They still can't cast the Shire Skull Charger and stop me from gaining life. Okay. Okay, we get to get to a Lolth here, right? Envy the strong, for they can. I will get what I want. That'll do. They can stop us from gaining life now. One, two, three, four, five. I'm at six mana. I'm at seven mana, so I can't use that. What are they going to do? Okay. You can stop us gaining life this turn, but not on our own turn. <laughs> okay. Still doing damage. For annihilation. Okay, so we get to what? So I can rule reality them, right? Create two creatures. I can uh, blood chiefs thirst my own curse bound witch. I can throw things away. I can do uh, four damage here, right? I can kick it for five, one, two, three, four, and five, right? One, two, three, four, five, and then I can get a curse bound witch. Cruel reality is good too. Okay, one attacker there. Least 
to their curse bound witch. Okay, we get to that. Do I want to Blood Chief's Thirst my own creature? I have four or five blocking power right now. What do they got? They frostbite it, okay. I get a rhyme wall protector. <laughs> uh, so funny. So funny. I can blood cheese thirst it for four and then attack with for three. I could put this on them for sure. It's going to cost me five, though, and then I'll have three left. See what they got? They have one foretold card. Oh, they're going to crush the weak on me. They are going to crush the weak on me. But it still won't save them. That's what they're going to do, but it's not enough. I oops them because they timed me out and we're being a real jerk. You're not going to see that because I'm going to have to cut it, but that's what they deserved. Okay, you're on the play. Really? Really, that's what's going to happen here? I'm going to keep it. Against aggro, it could be pretty good. Snow covered mountain is good. And they do nothing. Also super, super duper good for me. Making sure I'm recording. I am. <laughs> Hopefully my children don't get into a hair pulling fight again. They're good kids. They are good kids. Oh, we're in a dragon. We're against a dragon deck. I see. Um, this is kind of painful, but I think I'll probably wait if they play their little dragon guy. Yeah, this is almost useless, actually. Um, I'm just going to play it. Copying the spell at this point. Not good. Super duper annoying, but. I forgot these guys were even in here today. <laughs> They just have not shown up at all. And they did not show up at the right time whatsoever. It's super duper awkward. They get a town razor tyrant. Okay. Uh, decline the sacrifice. We need the land. Oh my god. Are you kidding me right now? Are you kidding me with this draw? I guess that's what I get for keeping a three meat hook hand against the right decks against the like a little weenie deck or something though. It's really good. Oh, well. Oh, Serenity now. I've just had a day where I've just had just very, very poor distribution. Very poor distribution. 
Like I just constantly get things that don't make sense. Like there's never any sense of curve, you know, there's not a witch and a Seagate and then a nice turn three. It's just, you know, a bunch of ridiculousness like this where I just always have to mulligan. There's nothing that can save me. We'll throw this one in for you guys. Watch me just get roasted once in a while. Um, Again, I get no early sacrifice creatures. My God. Land's pretty decent, though. Like, how many creatures do I have in here? I've got witches. I've got Seagate Stormcaller. I've got Bioloom. What else do I have? I've changed the deck quite a few times today. I started off the high toughness build kind of deal. Oh, for <sighs> I mean, I might as well use it, right? At least it stops them from getting a tougher turn three on me. They go Immerstorm Predator here or something, right? It's definitely not a great use of a Blood Chief's Thirst, but... Okay. Yeah, you got me. You got a Reckless Turn Seeker. There's an extra land, which I am extremely happy about. I can do absolutely nothing, though. <laughs> and it turns to night, like... What am I going to do? I could play and do a one point meat hook, I guess, to stop it. I mean. I mean, that's something, I guess. Oh, and they get a gold span too. <laughs> Four two. <laughs> uh, I can kill one thing here, but I'm going to be at eight life. So I'm going to be in pretty bad shape. Okay, so what do I kill first? Two point meat hook doesn't get me there. Um. Oh yeah, I have clone crafters in here. I must have 16 plus one and two turn creatures. Um. I guess it's storm charged right now. Because it can it can give something else haste, right? See if we can survive. We can get a lult next turn. They do have enough to attack with the high of the eye turn and put seven on us, but then we theoretically can get up defense. They burn down the house. And that is going to be it. Shut up with your good game. You mean my two blood chiefs thirst where I got nothing else? That the <laughs> oh, they gain if it would. <laughs> nice. Nice. I haven't been able to get one blue land yet. Guess it's uh, gonna be Blood Chief's Thirst here. Man, the distribution today. You saw it in these last couple games. Like, I just. Just, yeah. It's just one of those days, man. You think making content's easy? Yeah, it is. It is sometimes, but not on days like this. <laughs> like, man, it's just crazy town right now. I'm just getting wrecked by everything. Like,. Not wrecked by every deck. I just mean like I'm having such poor distribution overall. I'm mulliganing like I bet you I've mulliganed over 50% of my games today. This is a 24 land deck. It's a 24 land deck. You know? Yeah, we won't be blocking the white because it'll make a 2 2 zombie.
just got to last long enough. Hopefully we can get that minus three, minus three card uh, against a zombie deck here. What are you doing here? You play your shambling ghast. And I throw away a Blood Chief's Thirst this time, too, right? <laughs> when it would, like, do so much good right now. <laughs> yeah, yay. Yay. Bunch of useless garbage. I guess we get a blocker. <laughs> oh my god, man. It's so insane right now. I can Sanguine and Cauldron Familiar, so that's what I'm going to do. And we have a clone crafter and we have uh, seven lands now. Seven lands out of 11 cards. Just beautiful. <laughs> At least they don't have enough to uh, do anything. Okay. Maybe we can stay alive. Meat hook... Uh, Meat Hook probably keeps us alive here, right? Although they still have two creatures. So I think I probably clone Crafter first, right? And hope I get uh, like a two point, a one or two mana casting cost. Literally look at their board here. All two or under. Give me, let me play two lands in a turn here. Let me play two damn lands. Sacrifice of food. Um, we're going to have to do this. Try and get a one drop. Something. Better than nothing. Can get to a three point wipe next turn. This pain. We just got to try and get to a blood chiefs here. Um, what we need to do is go here and then go on one of these and kill it. Try and trim the numbers a little bit. Nah, I'm just gonna nuke it next turn anyways, right? Yeah, let's do this. Hmm. Okay, we're hanging on. Do I just need another creature? How much mana? Next turn I do nothing, and then after that I have to survive. I've already got a creature. Even getting this to like a 5-3 does not help. Nothing really helps. That's probably better overall still. I still need some stuff to sacrifice, right? Um, doesn't really matter, but... It's going to be a game changer. It's going to keep us alive for a while here. Oops, accidentally muted. Can we pull it off? OK, 
Okay. Alrighty. They've got enough to use their hide, but... Uh, Graph Reaver is not the best for us, but maybe that'll actually help us long run because it is going to bang him for one damage. We're going to take 11 here. We're at 10. We get another Sanguine, which is pretty darn good. Um, yeah, I have to go Headless Rider here. They're going to be able to do six to us, but we're going to get a bit of life back. Right there. Okay. Okay, we got a shipwreck marsh. We got a witch's familiar, which is a good sacrifice fodder here, right? And an extra blocker. Um. Yeah, but the question is, do I want two life? Yeah, I can kill them. Yep. All right, pulled it off. Nice. Wow. Made it happen. Okay, yeah, hey, that's almost a curve. That's close to a curve. I mean, no two drop, but... That's like close to a curve, which is a rare, rare thing for me these days with perfect land. Like I, oh, there's the curve. Oh my God. I'm probably going to lose this game because of that, but <laughs> like, honestly, I'm not even going to play it on turn two because it's not the right kind of curve, but because really I'd like to double village rights or something, you know, so I got to wait. And that is just perfect for me to just go like this. No, 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 no. That is not going to happen. And then I'll Seagate Stormcaller, double village rights, most likely. Or should I go, yeah, I'll go Sanguine Breaststroke first. Okay. Yeah. Then it's, uh, yeah. Seagate Stormcaller to Village Raids. Both of these guys die, or it's to Deadly Dispute. It's to Deadly Dispute, right? Can save the Seagate, I guess. Doesn't do us any good. What are you going to do? Just do your Inquisitor Captain. I guess if they had Inquisitor Captain, it would be a... Yeah, that's not the part I really use. <laughs> it would have been much better to take the Blood Artist. Okay. So, let's see Gate Stormcaller. Submit that. Okay. Drew a lot of cards there. I guess I get a Blood Chief's Thirst here now, right? Five, six mana. Or do I just take one beat from it? Do I take one beat from it? Because really, I want to make sure I can four-point meat hook. So if I do take one beat, I'm at six. Yeah, I'll be able to four-point meat hook anyways. No need to take more damage than necessary. Okay. 
And attack. Yeah, we'll be able to four point meat hook next turn if we need to anyways, so not too worried about it. We've taken most of the steam out of their sails here though. They get another third voice of the blessed. <laughs> get out of here. Get out of here. What are you going to do? Consulty, hurry up. They don't have any other play here? What do they have? What do they have? They have that spell that uh, can destroy target creature with toughness four or greater or something along those lines? Something crazy like that? What do we got in here? We could always... Yeah, it depends on if we get a meat hook or not. I think if I get a meat hook, I am going to play it. Okay, so first things first. I, yeah, I have one block that I can do, right? This can hold them off for a while too. What am I going to play on my turn that makes a difference? A sanguine. That's about it. If I nuke, yeah, so we're going to do this. Start drawing a serious amount of cards here. There's our meat hook. Okay, giddy up. Played it, I guess. Okay. One, two, so it'd be six damage to them, right? We just got to hope they don't inquisit or captain because then things become a lot more difficult. Five, six, I'll be at seven mana. I can only do five point meat hook. Yeah, I'm at a little bit of risk here for sure. Skyclave cleric is just enough. Let's see. <laughs> oh man, it's going to be close. Don't play another damn card. Player one away. Oh, but they'll lose the buff when I meet hook anyways. This is going to feel so good. It really is. But the only thing we can do next turn is meet hook. Like there is no other option for us. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Let's see if they have a little trick up their sleeve because they haven't played a couple cards and I don't know if it's just like a high casting cost angel or something really crazy like that, but. We could do potentially more damage than if we attacked. I attack, they block two, they take two. That's just me, hook. I feel like they have something here. It's going to save one of their creatures. It resolves. Does it resolve? Yes. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. We'll do that. What a bunch of garbage. What a bunch of garbage. Probably into more card draw, but I only have one creature anyways. I guess it's this pile. <laughs> Flipping which is familiar. They get a land. Let's see what they've been holding on to. They skyclave it. <laughs> that's what they've been waiting for. Why wouldn't they take the blood artist? Maybe that's their top deck. 
and they had a land and they were just holding land to be crafty. Um, one, two, three, four, five, and six. I'd really like to play something else. So let's go here. Loth is going to be the death of them. Your toast. Well, we survived three Voice of the Blessed and a Righteous Valkyrie. Not too shabby. Yeah, you can pretty much just concede right now, basically. Unless they pull a miracle out. Start drawing some cards. Okay, what's the decision? Yeah, Clone Crafter, Lulf. Make me some spiders. Yeah, we still make them, though. That does not stop us from making them. Why didn't they kill the blood artist? <laughs> I am so confused right now. They had a way to get rid of the blood artist for sure. They are they're tripping. Straight tripping. <laughs> we caught an inquisitor captain. <laughs> uh, let's start with that, I guess, hey? Give me one of those. <laughs> We don't have enough to proc it in the deck. That's so funny. That's that's really funny. Um, do we just play? They have no cards. They may have to no spell, in which case I get a 4-4 four, four lifelinker. See what they do. All right, we got him in a good spot here. I'm in a real good spot. They get a Lunark veteran. Damn, I was hoping it was gonna no spell the knight there. Um, we could no spell it here. Let's draw a card, anyways. Start there. We get a deadly dispute. Yeah, we'll get it on their turn. I can still attack them. No point in the clone crafter attacking. And let's see what they do. They're going to take seven here. If they don't block. It's apparently a very tough decision. Come on, Nancy, you got this. Okay. That's going to be the India. That's good. My turn. Play a shipwreck marsh. They have four left. Let's just all attack here first, right? No man lands. You're dead. Takes two to block these guys. Am I missing something here? They're just, they're just playing it out, eh? Yeah. 
Ooh. Uh, we're going to keep it though because of this. That's going to be good enough. Means we for sure get our sanguine. And we should be able to get somewhere from there. No, no blue mana, which is horribly annoying, but. Cursebound Witch is just, it's such a good card. They get a Rahilda. So let's, uh, yeah, let's Deadly Dispute here. Why am I getting Expanded Anatomy so much today? What a bunch of garbage. Like a four mana two two flyer. We'll just take this just as sacrifice fodder for villager rights at some point here. Okay. Um, let's just go Bioloom egg first, I think. I don't want them to get going on Rahilda. Like I really don't. I could just go these two as well, but they can probably kill one. So we're gonna go like this. Let's scry. Meat hook is good. Agadeem's another land is fairly good. What's the best thing for me though? We're definitely taking a meat hook, but not the Agadeem's, I don't think. <sighs> Pretty good. I do want the extra mana. I can already get to a two pointer though. And we're gonna go like that. Really, I want to get to some more card draw. They could use one of those new three mana spells. Yeah, of course we're blocking. I don't care if they kill it or not. I'll just village rates it and get my... Get it anyways. They just, what? They just, what? They wanted to turn it? Okay, so now we have to turn it, right? I can two-point me hook. I can sanguine and unwilling ingredient. I can... Clone crafter and unwilling ingredient. Let us sanguine. And uh, clone crafter here. It's not ideal because now I'm burning one of those, but I think I have to turn it. I think I really have to turn it here. It sucks, but. Get a reckless storm seeker. <laughs> they could blizzard brawl it and then attack. Um Clone Crafter has done its job. That way we don't lose the value out of the bioloom. They want to flip it back tonight, do they? Well, we can fix that. They get a Kessig Naturalist. Nope, they keep a day. Okay, giddy up. That comes in tapped. Uh, we definitely have to cast something. We can cast two things. We can also wipe the board on them here, but I, I think we'll just uh, keep getting as many creatures out as we can here. Ah, then we can't village rights. That's okay, though. I think this card might be better than some people think in the right circumstances. Got to be pretty narrow, though, because it's so random. But if you just need some fodder, that's pretty good value to grab another creature for two mana, right? <clears throat> Um, yeah, we have to, right? A little card draw there too, if I want. Now they blizzard brawl it. They get an Arnie slays the troll and they fight it. Okay. 
They really want the Biolume egg. Now I'm going to lose value on it because I played that damn creature. I'm kind of disappointed in myself right now. I guess we're wiping the board here. One attacker. Three point meat hook. Game over. Or very close. Nice. <laughs> Uh, that's pretty good. And I have a hive. I get a Tovalar. Okay. I guess I just attack with the hive, right? It's pretty close. Hive just allows them to potentially destroy my hive, and then what happens? I can just meat hook again here. Or I can just curse bound witch. I really want to just go for the kill here though, right? Just they haven't given up yet. So what are they going to do? They fight it. They get a Tovalar, they start drawing cards against me. If they do, then I meet Hook. I got Village Rights. I'm just going to go for it. Sure. <laughs> okay. 